Welcome to the Learning Center for Q7 software. In our third screencast, we will show you how to apply basic assertions to our test cases. Each test case should have a verification to complete it. We need assertions for UI testing, where we test UI elements, their location and properties. In functional testing, we test our functionality, and therefore we have to validate the response to user actions. That's why we have two basic modes while creating our test cases, the recording mode and the assertion mode. Let's get back to our first test case. We have created a new project on Eclipse workspace called My Java Project. However, in order to verify our results, we want to add an assertion confirming that it was actually created and appeared in our workspace. We press the record button again. Q7 runs the test first in order to verify that it passes successfully. Now we can go on with recording and add an assertion. We switch to the assertion mode using the toolbar icon. The red brackets show the element which can be selected to make an assertion. We will select our newly created project in the Project Explorer and click on it. We check the properties we want to make assertions on. The caption, it says my Java project, the items index, its position in tree equals zero, and the number of its child items. As we add our assertions, they appear in the test script where they can be easily reviewed. This will help us to verify that our project actually exists with certain properties. We close the control panel and save our changed test case. We can replay it as usual and check that it passes successfully. Only this time there is no need to go back to Eclipse to see the results in our workspace. Let's take another example. This time we will create a new Java class. As soon as the test is replayed, we recording continues and we open the new class wizard. It's gonna be a simple test class with public static void method. When the class is created, it opens in the editor area. We can now check if our new method was added to our class. In order to do that, we open the quick outline and see that our method appears in the class tree. We want to make an assertion on this tree item. However, if we switch to the control panel in order to turn on assertions, the pop-up window disappears. We go back to the quick outline, only this time we will use hotkeys in order to switch to the assertion mode. The hotkey tip is shown in the lower left corner of the control panel. We select our method and check the properties we want to make assertions on, the caption and the index. We can even make an assertion on the font style and the background color, which is very pale yellow. As soon as it's ready, we stop recording and save our test case. Our test now comprises two logical parts, and each of them has an assertion that verifies it. We now replay our test case and see that it passes successfully, finding our newly created method. Assertions are an essential part of automated testing, since there is no one standing behind machine's shoulder to check the actual behavior of the tested functionality. Moreover, when you test your GF or GMF environment, assertions allow you to have the in-depth control over the graphical elements. We'll certainly get back to them later in our next screencast. Thank you for watching Q7 screencasts. Please take time to visit our website and try out Q7 by Zorin.